Today we're gonna be doing a homemade versus homemade submarine underwater challenge. And the real winner today is the one that can survive. Yeah, hopefully we're both winners. I just wanna throw that out there. Oh, is it that strong? But first things first, we gotta come up with teams, we gotta build them, we gotta get supplies, and hope to God that we survive. <laughs> so here's the breakdown. You've got the test drivers on this side, and you've got the nautical bros who are going to be building the submarines for the most part, basically making sure we don't die. Tristan and I will help during the building process, but that's not our expertise. It's kind of theirs. So Tristan and I are gonna be going against each other and we're gonna flip a coin to see who gets what nautical bro to partner with to basically, if we didn't have them, there wouldn't be a submarine being built today. I'll be tails. Your, your tails, I'll your heads. Do you want to flip the coin? Whatever you flip is who you get. Who do you want? If you All had right. to pick BJ or Corey, who do you okay, want? Okay, come over here more. Okay. <laughs> so we were sitting there trying to figure out if yeah, we yeah. were to flip the coin. Yeah. And Corey said, paper, scissors, rock. Okay. And I'm a big like rock, paper, scissors guy. He did say paper, scissors, rock completely it backwards. Just kinda freaked me out. Yeah. So, so your Corey has got you a little concerned to a little like concern. be in a scuba. But the other day he did save me. Okay. And okay. the submarine. So what so he's, who are he's you teeter tottering. Right I can't choose, dude. They're both great guys. Okay. Alright. But BJ. On the sole purpose of paper, scissors, rock. Flip it, catch it, lay it. Okay. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh! Lay it! Lay it! Lay it! No! Wait, lay, lay it? it? Yeah. <laughs> I get paper, scissors, rock. <laughs> you got Corey! <laughs> you got Corey! Oh, man. <laughs> See, paper, scissors, rock over here. God, dang it. Oh, my gosh. All right, honestly, on a good note, he's already saved me in the big submarine, so I trust him. You're in good hands. Other than the paper, scissors, rock. That threw me yeah. for a loop. Then how's it supposed to go? Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Everybody knows that. It's rock, it's, paper, scissors. I'm pretty sure the Egyptians put that on the story somewhere. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. So we have team number one, paper, scissors, rock. And we have team number two, the BJs. Which, by the way, is totally not inappropriate. It's our name initials. Don't get mad at us. Here's the breakdown of how this works. We are going to go in as our teams and go shop for all of our supplies individually. At that point, we're going to grab everything we need to build our homemade submarines. I don't know what their idea is, and they don't know what our idea is. After that, we're going to go to the mini factory and start building out our submarines using our Nautical Bros expertise. So we can build whatever submarine we want, it just has to pass the three tests. Now, test number one is it has to go at least five foot down. That basically means it's a submarine. Correct. Test number two is you have to be able to breathe without a regulator or anything in your mouth. You have to basically be breathing in a bubble. Okay. Test number three. Most important, you gotta be able to see out of it because you gotta know where you're going. Okay. As long as you pass those three tests, it qualifies as a submarine and may the best submarine win at the end of this video when we put them in the water and risk our lives once again for YouTube. If you are OGs of mine and Brandon's channel, we did something like this where we went to Walmart and made a homemade fishing lure. Now this has taken it way back to literally one of the first five to 10 videos on our channel and now, we're making submarines, so it should get pretty crazy inside of Home Depot. And I might actually just pick up a few extra tools that I need. <laughs> so, Team Paper, Scissors, Rock versus Team BJ. We have 30 minutes to get whatever supplies we need in an unlimited budget. Each team has one chicken credit card, but if it declines, it declines. Building starts at three, two, one. Let's get it. You're the expert. I'm the submarine pilot, but I know nothing about how it works. What you got? Uh, trash cans. Trash cans. I like it. <laughs> we've, only got, we've only got so much time to build this thing. Yes. So, okay, trash cans. I uh, like it though. Start out with some trash cans. Okay. We'll probably need some totes. Trolling motor somewhere. Trolling motor from Home Depot. Nice. Uh, acrylic for glass. We got to be able to see out of it. Okay. Got to go under what? Five feet? It's got to be five foot. I've got to be able to see out of it and I have to have a pocket to breathe. That's the only rule. So we can do whatever else we do want. Do you have to breathe? I could hold my breath. Look, you can climb in there. Honestly, we need this. I think so. If we just flip it over, I'll duct tape it. Um, it's only 
I could probably stick a tank in here and I'll just feed in there. I, I think only, that's a good start. I only gotta keep you alive for five minutes and drag you back up. I can hold my breath for at least three of those five. Now visuals are no points at all, but BJ was telling me, he was like, I have a pair of longhorns. I don't care what happens. We could put the longhorns on them, make it look cool, paint it like a cow. And as soon as he said that, I'm like, bro, we're gonna be the water buffaloes. Cut a window? Dude, how do I look? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, beautiful. I'm confident. Dude, I feel so good about this right now. As soon as I sat in those trash cans, I felt like I was truly where I belonged. Corey is the mastermind of this whole plan, so I'm kind of just following him. I've seen the boys running around. I have no idea what they got. I see a few trash cans. I'm kind of confused there, but I'm sure BJ's got them. Got them handled. I think ours is gonna be great. And I mean, I'm not gonna say anything, but they're taking them underwater. So unless they put some kind of reinforcement system, when you go underwater, it's gonna compress. All right. Oh my God. Shoulders are on fire. With what Corey's got planned up, his master plan, I think we're gonna absolutely beat the crap out of him, so. I found the flex seal. Also, there's some employees that I think don't want us filming, so we're low key from here on out. They want a flex seal. And we're gonna buy all of it. If we just buy all the flex seals, yes, seal, you're right. gonna have nothing. Because either way, I'm paying for it. <laughs> either way, I'm paying for it. So it's not like I'm saving money. I'm just gonna put it all on my team. Yeah, it's kind of funny. We just keep throwing stuff in the trash. <laughs> okay, what do we I need? I know what else we need. Okay. Paint, you're absolutely right. You wanna, you, you, they won't even be able to see us working on it. Oh, camouflage paint, you're right, you're right. <laughs> they won't be able to make out the outline and steal our ideas. You know what, you're absolutely right. I'm liking this. I think we go this time, you guys know I love camo, but I think we go blue camo. We do underwater, like bright blue colors. You know how the subscribe, it like glows underwater? Yep. I wanna have that glow effect. Whenever you get done building it and you do all the hard work, I'll come in with a spray paint. Perfect. <laughs> team Water Buffalo. Team Water Buffalo. We went from BJ's to Buffalo's, baby. This team is full of surprises. Yeah. Whoa, hey, whoa. Oh, what are you oh, doing? Creeping. What are you oh, doing? No. What are y'all doing over here? Yeah, huh? Hope y'all got a lot of lead weight. Sink this sun gun. Oh, we'll just attach it to y'all submarine since it's only going one way. Down to success. <laughs> Submarines are supposed to go down, Tristan. Yours is going to be like a freaking bobber. Best of luck though with your cardboard. You got the cheap stuff? Yeah. So only $100 a bundle, huh? All right, B saw our cart, so I'm gonna run and find theirs. I got some of their stuff. I'm hiding it. Oh, excuse me, sorry. All right, we got all their stuff. So now, they're not gonna know what to do. You really took it? What do you mean? No, you did not. They really took our stuff? No. No, no, dude. <laughs> they actually got us so good. We found our materials. We're now missing a cart though. So we had to get a new cart. But thank God they didn't find the flex seal in the trash cans. <laughs> I got this from their cart. That's what we needed. We got everything that they have and everything that we need. So everybody's carts are full. How do you feel about what you got? I'm feeling pretty confident. Feel good? Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. How do you, you know feel? We, yeah. You know we I mean, got I think, you know we got I think we're gonna be okay. I did want to add, we each get one item to basically make it a level playing field. Being that we make underwater videos on YouTube, we have a bunch of underwater gear. So each team gets two full scuba tanks that they can use to their discretion. I'll see you boys at the warehouse. All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hope your car doesn't decline. Sounds good. May have called the bank already. <laughs> we got the trashiest submarine ever. Good old Home Depot, baby. Nautical Bros are getting our submarines loaded up. Okay. But the real question is on the paper. We got their old receipt. Who spent the most? Who spent the least? It's okay. going to set the tone for our and I got some submarine shot. Yeah, you did. I, I saw you had a car freshener over there. Yeah, and American I, flag. I'm not going to lie. I saw the car freshener. I was like, brilliant. Kind of nervous now. <laughs> what? is your total tristan 315 dollars 315 dollars 18 cents okay 315 dollars submarine is the cheapest submarine my total is 462 dollars and 34 cents it could be an interesting benchmark to see if 
price matters when it comes to homemade submarines. Right. So we have completely different materials. I saw a lot of wood over there. Yeah. We gotta get all the stuff loaded up in the trailer. We will meet you at the warehouse where each team is gonna go over their build plan. And then we're just gonna let the boys execute. Corey's already over here. Making oh my work. gosh, dude. Yeah. It's been four minutes. Man, I just don't want Corey because he said paper, scissors, rock. He's over here doing a goddamn science experiment on the computer. He said paper, scissors, rock. I was totally thrown off guard. All right, we are at the warehouse. We're gonna start giving you guys blueprints so you can see visually what we're thinking mentally as far as submarines. And by we, I mean mostly BJ. I'm just the pilot. Well, I know we discussed it, so we're gonna yeah. do three trash cans. Three system. trash can systems. Okay. Fuse it. Fuse trash it. can number two. Trash can number three. Then after we get done with that, you're gonna have to see out of some sort of window. I'm thinking windows throughout the entire build. The biggest thing that we're gonna have to have is the horns up front. That's just, that's Texans. gonna be the horns up front. Okay, I like it. We're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna put the motor to make it move, okay. which will probably just be dropped down here, more than likely. Okay. This bull is definitely a boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. There's a little steering wheel in there. I don't think we'll have one of those. I'll be smiling, I'll be so happy. It's gonna look way cooler than that. It's gonna have windows, it's gonna pass the five foot test, and I'm gonna be able to breathe out of it. Especially because that one trash can is gonna be upside down. It's basically an upside down cup. Like, you're gonna be able to breathe out of that regardless already. I, I drew something on the back for you. Here's how I think the submarine's gonna go. Brown as water, we didn't have blue. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I got really scared, need to change my pants. Dude. I think we're off to a good start. We'll be able to rotate the propulsion. I'll do the tail back here. The propulsion will be inside of the tail. The American flag will work as our top fin. <laughs> you'll have a ballast up here in the front, but you'll also be able to see out of it and you'll have side view along the sides as well and move around. Why'd, and why'd you ever even buy a submarine? We could have just built one. For like 700 bucks between both submarines, <laughs> I spent like way, I mean, I spent, I don't even want to talk about it. I, that's why we can only build submarines now because I can't afford another one. <laughs> While we're coming up with plans for our builds, I want to make a deal with you guys. Today we are doing the homemade version and it's kind of budget friendly. But if you guys want to see us put the Nautical Bros to the test to make the ultimate submarine, no budget, they can go as hard as they want to make a real functioning submarine that the whole team could be proud of, it's going to take 20,000 likes. 20,000 likes on this video will make it happen. We will let the nautical bros loose, take as much time as they need to make the ultimate underwater homemade submarine. The buying's done, the blueprint's done. The teams are officially against each other from here on out. Now, me and Brennan got some other videos we gotta film. It is time we leave the nautical bros to do their magic building these submarines. While they are talented, we're only giving them two days and basically half days because they have to help us with the real submarine videos that we're doing in between all of this. So all of their expertise is basically not gonna be of any use because they're not gonna have any time. So boys, the challenge is on, okay? You gotta use your noodle, make something good, and they can give us a phone call to do something easy like, I don't know, lay down some spray paint or something. So the build starts now and you'll see Tristan and I sprinkle on in to do some of the light work along the way. Best of luck, best of luck. Good luck, guys. I'll see ya in the shop. It is a uh, day before the big launch. The Nautical Bros have requested Tristan and I to show up to submarine headquarters. If you guys remember the sports sub, this is where mini factory number two is because you're wanting to dial us in, get some personal fitment stuff for the submarines. Gotta make sure the trolling motor is not sticking up where it's not supposed to. Okay, perfect. That, yeah, that, I don't want to sit on a trolling motor <laughs> shaft. So this is gonna be Tris and I's first time seeing our submarines. Team Paper, Scissors, Rock versus Team BJ is in full effect. I'm excited, man. Tomorrow's the big day. Oh man, is this Team Water Buffaloes? Cause these are trash cans, bro. Oh my God, son. Hey. These are original from Texas Roadhouse, too. They came out of a Texas Roadhouse. Oh, wow. Where are we going? Oh, wow. 
<laughs> wow, dude. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Team Freedom Shark is going hard, son. Wow, man. Look at this. That thing is gooder than yours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a lot of homemade submarine videos coming soon. We could do like spear fishing in the Freedom Shark or underwater treasure hunting in the water buffalo. This is cool, though, man. Hey, that's only if they work. Yeah, that is only they if they work. They could be a one-time use. My video is gonna be... Look at, oh, ow. <laughs> shark bit ya. We're gonna leave Team Freedom Shark to do whatever they're doing to this thing, which by the way is very cool. I'm excited to see what this looks like completely finished tomorrow. Team Water Buffalo. We're gonna go into the other room. We're gonna get our stuff dialed in there. BJ says he has a couple ideas. Again, these are almost done for tomorrow. They just have a couple last minute specifications. Yeah. Team Water Buffalo is out. Good luck, boys. What I tried to do, make sure it works. Okay. Make sure you can see all the way around. Yep, I like that. That's a great feature. I tried to keep it simple, plus we only had like seconds to decide what we're building that out of. Yep. The trash can <laughs> seemed like it at the time. So. Yep, yep. So this is how you're gonna get in. This okay. is what I wanted to make sure you would be able to I'm tracking. get in there. Go, go ahead and sail. We got, we got you. This challenge is about to be over with. <laughs> oh, is it that strong? <laughs> yeah, we built it really good. This thing is gonna be full of water. I am, and good thing it looks like a casket because I am 100% dying in that. We're not done with it. We're gonna have a big scuba tank under this. We're gonna be using this air system and this is how I'm gonna be filling up the inside body of the submarine. The only thing I worry about is this tipping side to side, but I think I'll be able to balance and then also the tank is gonna be so heavy down there that it's not gonna really let it roll. It's gonna be bottom heavy, which is exactly what you want. Fill it with air, let it come up, let it be hot, bottom heavy to go down. We have all the custom fittings that I needed to know to be able to drive this bad boy tomorrow, but T minus 12 hours till this thing gets launched in its full form. I can't wait, but it's time for me and B to bounce and let the boys keep working. Take that old water buffalo. I'm gonna take my water buffalo and go home. Taking out the trash. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna be living in that tomorrow. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what day it is? It's submarine day. It's game day, baby. It's game day. This is it. We've also seen uh -oh. the subs last night, but there's been some upgrades made overnight and into the morning. I think we're expecting paint jobs and motorization. So it's a pretty crazy process, but either way, the Nautical Bros will be here in about five minutes. So we've got our suits on. We've got all of our gear set up. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. I'm really excited. I have no idea what to expect, but Team Water Buffalo versus Team Freedom Shark. Drop in the comments who you think is gonna win and don't cheat. As promised, both teams have two massive scuba tanks for their submarine. And we even have these guys, which you may have seen earlier in uh, one of our videos. These are our spare air systems. None of this is sponsored. Anything you see in today's video is not sponsored. Okay, we paid full price for all this stuff. Pretty convenient. It has some air inside of here. So if uh, you get trapped in the Freedom Shark or I, I know for sure I'm gonna get trapped in the old <laughs> trash can machine. We're gonna have air that's gonna give us about 36 breaths. So breathe slow if you, get, if you get stuck. And we'll have the Nautical Bros down there in their dive gear, not only helping us figure out how to use the submarine since it's our first time, but also just keeping an eye on if, it, if something goes wrong, they lift the submarine out of the water or break it apart and pull us out. If it doesn't break apart by itself. How you feel? Anxiety kicking in yet? Nah, I've already been in a few subs that wanted to kill me, so. I'm not worried Nothing about this new, one. Huh? Nothing new. Bring it on in, give it all down. Hey, right. Hang it on up. Pick it up. Beep, 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 beep. Tristan and I are going to step away, let the nautical bros set up, and then uh, we get to see our subs for the very first time. Remember, can you get five foot below? You got to be able to see out of it, and you got to be able to breathe freely out of it without having like a breathing apparatus in your mouth. So if you can pass those three tests, that's the better submarine. Oh my God. What a beautiful little jelly bean, dude. Wow. Team Water Buffalo, you did an amazing job, BJ. Thank you, thank you. I think 
the look is so dope and as you guys know on my channel all the stuff we do is kind of like camo militarized so this water buffalo jelly bean looking guy is right on par i actually do love the camo and i think it's gonna look sick in the water all right here we go Oh, oh my, my God. gosh, look I at it. I like her. it, dude. That is a beauty. It's menacing. It says Freedom, Freedom Shark on there. It's menacing. It's got teeth. I, the, the windows, the flex Hold seal. On. It's not done. You, you know where that oh, goes. Oh, God. You know where that oh, goes. Oh, man. <laughs> ah! America! America! <laughs> dude, look at your little shark fins, dude. That's what I'm freaking talking I'm about. loving that. That's cool. All right, right now in the comments, don't watch any further. So far, just from looks, what do you guys think? Okay. Just from looks. I think yours has this crazy appeal, but I will say the paint job on mine really brought it to life, dude. I think the only way to solve who goes first is inspired by your team name. Paper, scissors, rocks, shoot. Ooh. Paper, scissors, rocks, shoot. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! I think you go first. I'm ready for it. Oh, dude. Most important question, you had windows, so you passed visibility test. Yes. On the drone, we rendered you five foot deep. I don't know how deep you were, but you did a drop, you stayed on the bottom. I'd say you passed <laughs> the five foot depth. And dude, the mobility the, was actually kind of crazy. Well, that's I, a, needed, that, I needed some help from Corey. I know yeah. that's not in there, Yeah. but dude, I was just zipping around and yeah. all the fish are just like, it's so what? Cool. They're like, shark, Whoa, shark, watch out. <laughs> fish are friends, right. not food. Last one, I've got to know, because we couldn't tell from here. Could you breathe without breathing off of a regulator? So I could have potentially, but it would have been like a sinking submarine. Like, <laughs> like just I, the I last have, breaths on those surfaces. But it wasn't like what I what I encountered whenever I first got in the water. Okay. It was a little sketch. So I okay. was like, I'm not risking it at five foot. Okay, so you marked two and a half out of the three boxes with a bonus point of maneuverability yeah you were driving yeah he i mean it with it, it was moving yeah it, and that that propeller everything moving. i was so surprised Corey did awesome it, bro the sub itself held up completely underwater i felt safe other than the fact that like it wasn't like full-on sports sub where you could get wait until you see the drum footage now that tristan has completed his now it is time to go over to the good old water buffalo so we're gonna get our air tanks loaded in, and then I think at the very end, we're gonna have to ride in each other's subs if uh, if they're still together. I mean, they're homemade subs. We don't know how long they're gonna last. Hopefully, you see them more on this channel. Maybe they're, maybe they're the new submarines on this channel. There's only one way to find out, and that is to test them. Tristan, as you guys can tell, was breathing off the regulator. Now, remember, that is one of the challenges to breathe in open cabin space. 
Tristan didn't really mark that box, but he said he had some air in there. He just chose the regulator, which safety is the most important thing. So in my case, what you just heard back there is an air hose. I don't actually have a regulator. Yeah. So if something goes bad, I'm either breathing off spare air or I'm gonna rip the hose out in free flow hose into my cabin, which still technically, as long as I'm not breathing off a regulator, I check that box. I have 360 biz, but can I get down five feet? Okay. Oh my God, I am so screwed. Tastes just like scuba tanks. Am I floating? Oh, all I gotta do is open my ballast? Hey, this is like a damn water buffalo lawn chair. This is amazing. I don't need no damn trolling motor. Brandon's in there. I don't think he's gonna be able to drop down. I think he's just gonna have to float. That's it. We do have weight. I'm kicking with my feet. Flintstone style. I can turn. I can turn. <sighs> I am nervous. Okay. You got this, Brandon, Jay. Submarine suck, dude. <laughs> ah, that was so fast. I just died so fast. Ah, I tried to tilt it, and the air went out just like we talked about. But then I just breathed it so much water. <laughs> Damn. I think I would have died in real life right there. <laughs> what? Is this fake life? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is just. This is real life. Yeah, this is real. You're right. This is real life. Damn. This holds too much air. So we have this pipe right here and I have this valve open, but I have to put the air from here at an angle to let it release into here. You see that effect right there? That's what we needed. So the more water that comes in here, the less I can breathe out of this cabin, but then the less buoyant it is. So we can actually go down. So while our submarine we can breathe out of the cabin, unlike Tristan. We have vision, just like Tristan. We cannot really hit that five depth mark with this big buoyant thing. And to be honest, I'm a little nervous to try that again. That was sketchy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it, we survived. We did. The true winner is the one that survives. Remember I said that? You did say that. We both survived. We almost both didn't survive though, and uh, quite a battle it was. I'm not gonna lie, it did seem from the outside looking in that this guy might have performed better as far as driving around. That experience of driving was really cool. Yeah. I will say the water buffalo though, it was a very relaxing experience up top. If we were doing subsurface submarines, I think this baby would take the cake, have the little fins on, kick it as far as you want. Don't never have to worry about your battery running out or getting electrocuted like the old Freedom Shark. However, as far as the check boxes go, it was a tie. Comment below who you think won this competition, Freedom Shark or the old water buffaloes. They both had their advantages and both had major disadvantages, <laughs> which is why the water portion of this video ended a little quicker than we would have liked. Absolutely. Would have been cool to be submarine together. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please drop a like. We really appreciate all your support. It's the only reason we can do ridiculous stuff like this. We went from just playing in the river and doing underwater videos to then having real submarines. And now we can make them. Well, we can't, but we know people who can. So big shout out to the Nautical Bros. Their channel is going to be linked in the description below. They actually have a more detailed video of how they built these submarines, which is super cool. They literally are the reason we can do videos like this. So massive shout out to them. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. And don't forget, there's a much bigger video that is possible, but it's only if you guys want it to happen. So remember, 20,000 likes on this video. You boys will finally get an unlimited budget. You'll get as much time as you need, which I know I've never given you on any project. <laughs> never. Never. Especially never. These. never, never. And we will see what you guys can come up with to create the greatest underwater submarine that's not the Navy. I don't think we can beat the Navy, but 
I've been proven wrong before. So, 20,000 likes, we will make it happen. All right. Just remember, if you completely drain the bank account, it will be the last video on the channel. Peace out.